Before I took over the reins of Christie's in Asia, I was the head of the international jewelry department at Christie's. And Hong Kong is an important center for us. So I used to come here at least four times a year, twice for the auctions, twice to see clients. So when I arrived in Hong Kong last year, it's, I cannot tell you that I didn't know Hong Kong very well. I used to come here for a week, but yeah, it didn't seem to me like I arrived in a completely foreign uh, country. It was no, not foreign territory for me. I love it here because of the pace, because uh, you can do anything you want 24 hours a day, because it's a big, small town. Uh, it's very international, with an airport allowing you to go everywhere uh, in no time. So, uh, how does it compare? It's better for uh, business, it's very vibrant. I think it's a place to be in 2011, uh, in our business. The growth has been absolutely phenomenal. Just at the beginning of a very interesting uh, growth period for um, our businesses in Asia. As I was telling you earlier on, um, for our first six months of 2011, our business grew, grew in Asia 68%. So 68 sales were 68% large, bigger first half 2011 versus first half 2010, where in the rest of the group it's only quote-unquote 30%. 30% is quite a lot already. Yeah, yeah. But Asia, I think we're just scratching the surface with new collectors coming all the time, particularly from mainland China. The collectors in China, like those in America or in Europe, are looking for the best works of art yeah. and at the best price. So that's a common denominator. Yeah. Uh, so. Is there a difference? Not really. Do, I would like to keep doing it as long as I, uh, I can. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you think about it, this business, we're extremely busy all day long, traveling, emails, phone, clients, etc. But when everything is finished, the finality mm -hmm. of the job is that during one hour, one hour and a half, you, have in the, you are in the rostrum um, yeah. and you organize it, uh, you, you, you take the hammer for, for an auction. Mm -hmm. And it's one thing to see after an auction the results of the sale and to look at a, an Excel sheet and to look at percentage sales, to look at lots sold, unsold, nationality of buyers. It's another, like being in the rostrum, seeing exactly what happens, wondering whether this lot will sell, uh, realizing that one lot goes for 10 times the estimate or other, in, uh, in other cases, you have no hands in the air and the lot might not sell in the last second somebody comes for it. Um, looking at people in the auctions, watching who is bidding, because very often um, the buyers wait for someone to start bidding before bidding. Um, so it's a very interesting uh, way of, uh, first of all, learning psychology, yeah. but also feeling the market firsthand mm -hmm. rather than from a report. Yeah. So that is something I've been doing now for 30 years and I'd like to be doing for as long as, as I can. Mm -hmm.